Hi friends, Father Kerry Walters here, pastor of Holy Spirit American National Catholic Church, and this is another Holy Spirit moment. This one on the weirdness of pretending that God exists. The New York Times recently published a column entitled How to Pray to a God You Don't Believe In. It was authored by Professor Scott Hershevitz of the University of Michigan, uh, where he teaches law and philosophy. And it's inspired by a number of conversations that Professor Hershevitz has had with his son, Rex. Rex is preparing to be bar mitzvahed, um, and he has expressed doubts in the existence of God based primarily upon what philosophers call the problem of evil, which in a nutshell asks, if God truly does exist, how come bad things happen to good people? It's an important objection to belief in God, and it ought to be taken seriously by everyone. And it has been taken seriously by Professor Hershevitz, so much so that he admits in the column he does not believe in God, except sometimes he pretends that God exists in a form of what philosophers call fictionalism. God is nothing more than a fiction, so far as Professor Hershevitz is concerned, but it is a useful fiction at times, presumably in prayer, or as he points out in the column, in corporate worship. God is just a pretend thing, and yet to pretend sometimes that God exists helps one through rough patches in life, or helps one to cope with the horror of horrible things happening to innocent people, or connects one with a long tradition uh, in which one realizes that one's forebears likewise had to deal with the problem of evil, and that they survived the struggle with that problem, and perhaps even flourished. This is a strange position to hold, that is, to pretend that God exists, Please note what Professor Hershevitz is not saying. He is not defending a kind of sympathetic agnosticism in which he says, I don't really know if God exists, but I'm going to bend towards the possibility that there is a God. No, he's not saying that. Nor is he saying, God is just a hypothesis, and I'm going to suspend judgment until I can gather more data uh, to decide which way the hypothesis leans. He's not saying that either. He explicitly disbelieves in God, but at times he pretends that God exists. I don't know previous thinkers who have said something this strange, although there are previous thinkers who seem to be at least near to Professor Hershevitz's position. So, for example, I think of Friedrich Nietzsche, who dies in 1900. Nietzsche argued that there is no truth, or at least no truth you and I will ever be able to cognize, and instead all that we have are perspectives. We have these relativistic shades of interpretation which we confuse for truth. Or I think of the German philosopher Hans Weinger, uh, who in the late 19th century uh, it published a book in which he defended what he called the philosophy of as ob, the philosophy of as if. And Weinger's position was very influenced by Nietzsche's. We will never know reality as it is, Weinger says, and so what we must do is simply get along with thinking uh, about reality as if. I will proceed in my life as if what I'm thinking is true and reflective of reality. And then, of course, we have that famous essay by William James, The Will to Believe, in which James argues that in the absence of contrary evidence, we are perfectly justified in believing in a God. And there is even uh, Sigmund Freud's Future of an Illusion, in which Freud takes an opposite position from these uh, people who might be sympathetic with believing that God exists without much evidence. He, Freud would say that pretending that God exists is always and everywhere wishful thinking. And wishful thinking is deceitful, if not neurotic, so avoid it. And yet it seems to me that the antecedent thinker who most closely is in Professor Hershevitz's wheelhouse, although I don't think Professor Hershevitz would admit as much, is Dietrich Bonhoeffer, the 20th century German uh, theologian who was, of course, murdered by the Nazis. Uh, the reason I think that there's a close affinity between Hershevitz and Bonhoeffer is this. Bonhoeffer says that 20th century Christianity tends to be more skeptical than not, and that what that means is that God is relegated to the outer limits, that God is pushed uh, to the fringes of our everyday life. 
And we only call God in when we find ourselves in a jam, when we need comfort. Um, and as a consequence, the God in which we believe is more of a deus ex machina than a living, thriving, and personal God. The deus ex machina is what we want. And as soon as we don't need that God on the stage of our everyday life, we push him to the um, uh, backstage. It seems to me that the kind of move that Professor Hershevitz is making is really similar to the deus ex machina kind of God that Bonhoeffer decries. Because in pretending that God exists, when I need God to exist, really is using God as a kind of stage prop, isn't it? Really is using God as the crutch, the wishful thinking that Freud so deplored. Surely, God is much more than just a comfort blanket. Surely, God is much more than merely something to hang on to, even when one doesn't believe that what one's hanging on to has any substance when one finds oneself troubled. To pretend that God exists, and to do so openly, and to do so without seeing any kind of tension within holding that position, seems to me to be a assault on truth. It is a truth. Either that, God exists, or God does not exist. And there is middle ground between those two, isn't there? Such as, for example, the position of an agnostic or the position of a person who claims that God is a hypothesis uh, which needs more clarification, which needs more data. But there is no room between these two truths, either that God is or that God isn't, for a position of pretending that God is. It simply seems to be a weird, strange, and ultimately um, impossible position to hold. We can all appreciate that if God is, there is a mystery to God that human beings probably will never be able to fathom. And we can also agree, can't we, even those of us who believe in God, that most of what we think we know about God, we really don't. That's, after all, what St. Augustine said back in the 5th century. But to pretend that God is, is a position that just seems to me, at any rate, to make no sense. Either believe in God or have the courage of your disbelief and become an outright skeptic. But pretending that God is gets you nowhere. I'm Father Kerry Walters, and this has been another Holy Spirit moment. Thank you so much for listening. If you wish, I invite you to subscribe to Holy Spirit Moments. Just click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. Thanks an awful lot. I'll see you next time. God bless.